Hi, my name is Crystal Gale. Welcome. Um, this is an IH um, intracranial hypertension awareness video. Um, generally, awareness videos are, are made with the idea in mind that there is an issue that people should be made aware of. Awareness videos. Um, that's pretty much a given. Um, I suffer from IH. Um, it's a rare disease and is oftentimes um, oftentimes the symptoms they can attack at, at any given moment and um, oftentimes without notice. Um, having IH is scary because it's, it's, it's an uncommon disease and there are a lot of healthcare professionals who know little to nothing about this disease. And so I, I think that making this awareness video and others making their awareness videos can possibly, um, you know, help to create awareness. IH is also known as intracranial hypertension. Um, IH literally means that the pressure, um, cerebrospinal fluid, sorry, uh, CSF, um, in your skull becomes too high. It affects the brain so that your brain thinks and acts like it has a tumor, a brain tumor. Um, but you don't have a brain tumor. The symptoms or the presence of the disease is oftentimes uh, irreversible. Um, they can't really be fixed. Um, because it's a rare disease, there's not a lot of research done. Um, Hopefully there will be more research done in the future, but as of right now, um, it seems that having these symptoms and having IH or these things can't be reversed at this time. There are things that can be done to kind of help ease it a little, I guess, um, but as of right now, nothing can be done. Um, with IH, um, in February of 2009, uh, prior to that, I was experiencing a lot of um, discomfort, some headaches and some visual changes. My symptoms happened gradually. Um, I would have headaches, and then they'd be followed by like dizzy spells. First, um, I've worn glasses, and I just thought I needed a new prescription. I've worn glasses like 2009 drastically and like rapidly. I lost complete vision in my right eye. My headaches were increasing. Um, at first, they were like oh every now and then, um, till. And then it became daily and nonstop. Um, I also started to develop blind spots in my left eye, which was kind of weird because I couldn't see out of my right eye. And then I started to get the blind spots in my left eye. And at that time, I was beyond terrified. And um, I, I'm an artist. I'm a creator. And my greatest fear was that I would lose my I, I would lose my sight and and that freaked me out more than anything. And so at that time, I, I sought immediate help at that time. What scares me about um, having this IH diagnosis is the not knowing. Not knowing what's wrong. Um, not knowing when symptoms are going to occur. Um, not understanding why these things are happening. And not understanding like when they're gonna happen and, and like why they're not why they're happening it's just like the not knowing um i mean it's it's not a matter of what scares me it's what currently still scares me and it's all of those things that i i mentioned they they still scare me i, I am still i am still very much afraid um it's the not knowing, the feeling that I could go blind at, at like any moment, um, not understanding what's going on with my body and um, knowing that I'm doing everything within my power to fight this disease and at times I am still very much so powerless. Um, it is a scary feeling not to have control over your body and so because of that, um, this disease scares me. Having this diagnosis scares me. Um, and until there is a cure or until there is more research done or, or like more knowledge, it will continue to scare me. Currently, the most prominent symptoms I have uh, are headaches and visual disturbance. Um, the vision thing kind of comes and goes. Um, sometimes 
excellent vision and then sometimes really poor vision. Um, also, sleep is a major issue for me as well. Uh, sometimes the pain is literally too intense or too much and it keeps me awake. So I would have to say that right now the symptoms that bother me the most are headaches, which are insane, um, visual disturbance, and sleep. Alright, since my diagnosis, um, my neurological symptoms, uh, uh, well, occurrences, I've developed uh, petite mal seizures, which are also known as absence seizures. It's, it's frustrating because in an instant, I, I lose track of time. Um, this is also very scary, um, not only to me, but to those around me when this happens. Um, I've experienced some sciatic nerve problems and then problems with uh, both ulnar nerves, um, which resulted in me needing to have surgery on both um, all the nerves, uh, having them decompressed. So those are some of the neurological symptoms that have occurred since uh, having IH. Alright, uh, as far as treatment goes, Diamox was my first treatment. Diamox is a, a medication. It was my first uh, treatment. Um, Diamox and then I was having spinal taps every few days to relieve the intracranial pressure. Um, Diamox did not work for me simply because um, I had an allergic reaction to this medication. As I mentioned, I am not a huge fan of having spinal taps or lumbar punctures. Um, uh, I'm not a huge fan of having those things done. Um, I think I've had somewhere around 35 to 36 lumbar punctures. I've had a total of 10 surgeries. I've had three brain surgeries, uh, one to install the first shunt, and then the second two were to reinstall new shunts because um, the shunt, um, like shunt number one stopped working, shunt number two stopped working, and then shunt number three. Um, I've had seven IH related surgeries, which three plus seven equals ten. So I've had ten surgeries either to to fix the shunt, like fix parts of the shunt, or to fix problems that occurred as a result of having IH or as a result of having the shunt, um, which are both related to IH. Like I wouldn't have had to have um, like surgeries had I not had IH um, because Ultimately, all the surgeries have been related somehow to me having IH. Alright, yes, I currently have a shunt. So, um, my experience with this disease has been a roller coaster of emotions, various degrees of pain and discomfort. Some days are good and some are, well, not as good. Um, I will say that I do... Um, I do feel very blessed to, you know, still be alive and I am thankful that you took time to watch this video and I hope that you found out something new and that you will use this newfound knowledge to somehow help spread more awareness about this disease. Thank you again for your time and thank you for watching the video.